please tell us who you are. Uh, I'm Dr. Robert Dempsey. Mm -hmm. I'm acting deputy chief ISS scientist right now. Okay. Okay. Acting deputy chief chief scientist. Chief scientist. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So, so you uh, approve and what science missions would be going up? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a process for um, uh, how science missions are selected and targeted for the space station, but, you know, as you're probably well aware, uh, there's more that we want to do than we can actually fit on a cargo vehicle oh. and do on, on uh, you know, with the crew time. So we have to prioritize oh. which science goes Actually, up and when. I wasn't so, aware of that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if we if we had cargo vehicles and a lot more crew time, we could we could do a lot more research. Oh. So we're working on that. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was uh, the Boeing um, capsule, what is it called, CRS T100, yeah. CST100. CST100, yeah. Yes. Was it supposed to be a supply capsule also? No, and it's funny you should ask me about that because before I started this job in August, I was the lead flight director for the uh, oh. Starliner mission for 10 years. Oh, wow. Um, but no, it, uh, it's a crewed, crewed vehicle. You know, it has a little cargo capacity, but it's primarily to take astronauts to and from the space station. Okay, okay. Do uh, we allow the Russians to do payloads on our CRS missions? Uh, we do. Um, science, science projects. Yeah, it's it's truly an international space station. So you know, it might be the type of thing where we take up some hardware that they might use. Okay. Um, I know they did the ring, the attachment ring, years ago, uh, for docking adapter. Yeah, and like plasma crystal, uh -huh. which is one of their studies. We we've, we've taken up stuff with that. Okay. Um, so yeah, we you know we share and whatever. So we can. our stuff goes over there too. Sometimes, yep. Occasionally, so, yep. Oh, that's good. That's good. I just you know after the that uh, missile that went up and hit a, I guess it was an old satellite. Oh, the anti-satellite test. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. That that was and, and uh, didn't you have to move the station a little bit for that? Um, I don't recall. I'm not sure we've moved it oh, okay. yet from that, yeah. but we've we've come close. Um, but you know, I'd, I'd have to look up that specifically. Yeah. But we've definitely keep a close eye on yeah. it and see when there's debris coming by. But really, relations are good with NASA and Roscosmos. Oh yeah, and you know uh, that's one of the beauties of the International Space Station. You know, regardless of what's going on at the political yeah, level, yeah, the, political uh, level. the folks that are working down here, we have great relationships and get along. And you know, it's in in fact, you know, if you ask them, you know, about a political question, most of people don't know what's really going on. Oh. They're just kind of folk. Not, and I don't mean they're just being yeah, polite. Yeah, they're yeah, kind yeah. of like, hey, I'm yeah. just working. Yeah, on my yeah, station I'm just stuff. doing my job. Huh? Yeah, so. Well, that's good. That's reassuring to hear. That's yeah. actually nice because you hear um, all the other weird bad things. So that's nice. That's reassuring. Um, have you heard anything about the uh, how it's going up there with the Russian film makers on the station? Uh, I don't actually have a lot of details on okay. it, but you know they had recently a camera crew up yeah. there. Uh, I heard that there was no problems or big issues with it, so I assume they got what they were expecting to get out of it. That's great. That's great. I can't, and. Uh, I think there's talk of Tom Cruise, right? Yeah. Someday. Yeah, so. I think that's a potential private astronaut mission or a PAM mission going up uh, on Pan, Axiom. A yeah. PAM mission. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Axiom does the private launches. Uh, oh, okay. How many more commercial resupply missions are there on this current contract, like with SpaceX and uh, who's the other one uh, up there? Is it, or Northrop does, it, Grumman? does it have to be renewed every so often? It does. Now you're starting to get into my new job that I haven't quite started oh, yet. Okay. Um, but uh, I believe um, you know the current contracts go through 2024, uh -huh. and uh, we're looking at extending those contracts and and other types of uh, uh, okay. procurements to get cargo flights. Yes. Okay. So that would be right in your wheelhouse coming yep. up. Yep. Okay. Oh, are so. there any? Are there any? experiments that are going that will improve the quality of the feed like when the astronauts are out on spacewalks you know like a, oh you mean like the so video cool feed get, yeah like 4k you know i know that's yeah. hard i've heard of this new x-ray band you know communication but uh 
Uh, are they working on that? I, I know the Russians have used GoPros. And, uh, got well, actually, they borrow the GoPros from us. Oh, they do? Yeah. So <laughs> that's one of those things where it's like, you know, they call up and say, hey, can we borrow some equipment oh. and we share it as, as best we can? You know, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. yeah. But yeah. Um, I can't think of any experiments that directly improve that on yeah. this mission. Yeah. Uh, we are constantly doing upgrades. In fact, uh, we're about to increase the what's called the KU band video uh -huh. downlink uh -huh. uh, bandwidth. Oh, nice! Um, so we're we're gonna go oh, to yeah. a lot more video downlinks. So. so it's it's probably HD at this point. It's coming down. Uh, yeah, it, it depends. We have HD cameras up there, but right. we also have SD cameras still up there. We're yeah. trying to phase them out and right. replace them as much as we can. Yeah, I'm really interested in that. You know, I hope somebody can someday. You know, well. You, the only way you can see 4K here is on YouTube, basically. Yeah. Well, I think some of the streaming channels, but that'll be great when someday, I hope, and I hope you can pull it off, somebody, uh, you know, 4K streaming from space, so. Okay, well, thank you very much. It was nice to meet you. Likewise, my pleasure. If you have anything you want to say to our viewers, uh, you know, we have viewers all around the world, so uh, it was nice to meet you. Well, the only thing I would say is, you know, I think uh, people probably would be surprised at the breadth and diversity of the research we're doing on the space station. Uh, you know, I, th I think people think, oh, we just kind of study astronauts and, and grow plants, but we're doing a lot of research on this mission. Yeah. And, you know, from physics to uh, alloy production, medical stuff, a lot oh, of interesting alloy, stuff. Alloy yeah. production. Yeah. So there's always more research than there is room. Mostly. Yeah, generally. Um, yeah, we uh, there's a, there's a lot of research that you know we'd like to do, and you know, and it also it takes time and money to get the, the experiments ready. But oh, there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot that are in the process of going to the space station and coming back. And have they tried a solid 3D printer up there yet, where it's uh, metallic or anything like that? Um, I'm not sure about metallic, but we've we've done several 3D printing, right. and we've got several 3D printing projects coming along. So. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Hey, great. Well, congratulations on your new promotion. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for talking to us. My pleasure.